Well, what is going on, my fine feathered Yule chicklets? Welcome back. Today, we're going to work on this guitar. All right, welcome back, folks. I got some uh, stuff in the mail here today. I'll bring you over here to show you real close in a minute. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's pots and pills and I know it's a CTS pots and caps and switch and wires and nuts and bolts and uh, everything needed to wire this guitar up for a less fall. It's actually this. It's, this is already wired, soldered everything. All I got to do is hook the pickups up to it. Of course, I got to install it, this stuff. But it's got that Chinese wiring stuff going on in there. I think I'm just going to rip all that out. And if this, I'm hoping this is the whole harness right here, everything we need. I couldn't find the. Uh, remember that other guitar I rebuilt at Les Paul? Ordered the kit. Uh, it had everything in it that you needed, but it wasn't soldered, pre soldered the way this is all soldered up, supposed to be. So uh, we're going to find out if it is or not. Anyways, let's get right into it and get it all laid out on the table here. And uh, I'll probably have to take the pickups out to be able to route this through. I see a switch in there. And I think this switch, yeah, this switch feels pretty funky. So it'll come out. We'll put the new one in, run the harness down in, and uh, we'll see how far we get without going too much over, you know, too long a video. I didn't try to keep my videos a little bit shorter. People's uh, attention span don't seem to be real long here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I've been trying to keep them around 20 minutes or less than that. They used to make uh, almost hour long videos and it seemed to drive people away. So I'm going to start to uh, keep making them uh, shorter. And you know, maybe an occasional long one. Anyway, let's do it. Come on over. Let's do it. I mean, what's this all about? Don't say anything. Just do it. All right. So there's the goodies. Maybe you can see them a little bit better there in that picture. I don't know. Let me just I'm gonna open them up and just uh, pour them out. We can go through them and see what we have exactly. Here's a, uh, I guess a schematic type ground to back of pot. And then it's got the wiring diagram on there. I'm assuming that's the way they're soldered. So, uh, I don't know, man. Let's, let's see if we can unravel this stuff. There's a couple of different uh, switch caps, which is good. Oh, man, this has got one of those switch plugs on it. like Just like the... The cheap that the Les Paul thing does. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case, but it is. And anyways, get it all organized. There's the uh, wow! Look what a long wire they gave me on that jack. Of course, this has got to run from the cavity where these go into the uh, jack cavity. So that's no big deal. Getting these in the right order is a big deal. Okay, one of them's got a blue wire and one's got a red wire. Okay? Now I'm going to assume here, according to this paper, the red wire I can see it. Okay, the one with the red wire is the neck volume and tone. The one with the blue wire is the bridge volume and tone. Alright? And then we have to reroute this, it's got a switch already soldered on to it, see? I hope it's a good quality switch. Yeah, it feels good. It says Epiphone on it. I was hoping it was Switchcraft, but Epiphone's good. Anyways, uh, I'll have to get you and bring you over here and show you. There's wiring in there. All I've got to do is install this and wire the pickups to, to this circuit. That's all I got to do. But since that's already wired, I'm just going ahead and put it in, and then we'll wire the pickups with it installed. Uh, let me get you and show you what we got uh, here inside the guitar right now. I think I'm going to tear it all out. Just rip it out. You see what I mean here? This Chinese stuff, man. See what I'm talking about? Of course, we're going to put near the same thing right back in it, but this goes to the switch. Uh. These are, this is the uh, neck pickup, this is the bridge pickup, the blue one, and we have our ground right here, it's kind of hard to see, and uh, 
it's got a jack in there. I'm going to go ahead and take it out since that other one's already soldered together. That's the jack wire right there. Well, okay, let me just uh, get some things here and rip all that crap out. So the first thing we got to do is get all this Chinese crap out of here. All right. So we'll go ahead and unhook this. Probably going to need a screwdriver. There we got it. And loosen the jack over here. Oh, it's already loose. This is good. And now we got. Should be able to pull that right out there. course not. There's the jack. Okay, that's uh, some more Chinese work there. We're replacing it with almost the same thing. So, Alright, flop him over. And, uh, well, first, find a screwdriver that fits. Very much important. People come here and they get tools in here and they so frequently forget to bring them back I'm just uh there you go I want to keep these screws I'll get a container in a minute put them in uh, whatever I'm working on I always like to keep you know whatever guitar I'm working on, I like to keep the parts off of that guitar into a certain container. That way I don't get them mixed up with something else I'm working on. Alright. Yeah, how am I going to pick it up? It's plastic. There we go. Got to get a container and put all that stuff in. There we have access to the switch. Maybe it's only in tight. Yeah. You can't see again, can you? Wow, I keep forgetting to run the camera, man. I need a cameraman, anyone for hire out there. You you instantly got a job. <laughs> okay. Just loose. I don't know if I can pull it through with this plug on here, and I don't know if the plug will go through there. I'll try it. If it fights me very much. Of course it's going to. Now I've got to take the pickups out because I've got it fouled up in there. I should have cut, if I'd been thinking I would have cut that, that plug off the other end that hooks to the plug on the switch. Oh wait, maybe I can still get it. I don't like it moved. Now I'm going to have to take a pickup out now. Shit, man. Well, if I just stop and cut that plug off the other end, man, this would be unnecessary. But now, as luck would have it, let's take the pickups out. Yeah, maybe it's a good thing I did. That screw was really loose. Because the plug got fouled around the pickup wires. That was a stupid mistake right there. And I'll be the first to own up to it and admit it. <laughs> stupid mistake I'm never going to use that stuff I should have just clipped the end off of it yeah right there it is sure enough I can pull it through now. probably going to catch on this other one there we go I got it without tearing the plug off check that out <laughs> now that's the old plug. we got a brand new one over here we're going to use. So I'll just set that one aside back here out of the way and put the pickup back in. I already know the wire's blue for this pickup so it's not like that's going to be a problem. Screwdriver where are you? I need a screwdriver. I can't see for shit anymore. So how are you guys making it? Are you in the camera? Just barely. I think you can see it though. All I'm doing is putting the screws back in to hold the pickup in. Wow, that was such a stupid mistake on my part. 
I'm going to have to loosen this one to get enough play in it to get this one started. There we go. You would be surprised at the people that over tighten these and crack the ring. I see a crack in that ring already. Wasn't me it did. I've never had those out. Till right now. They put the screws in too tight and crack the ring. You would not believe the guitars that I get in here and that's been done to. They don't have to be tight folks. They just got to be snugged up. When I feel it start to get tight I go like Maybe an eighth of a turn more and stop right there. Yeah, I, that might not be cracked all the way through. I can't really tell. I've got a bunch of those, though. I can change that if I have to. Now, see, all we have... Oh, come on, man. Don't tell me this. Wow. Okay, I'm going to have to bring you back. <laughs> when I pulled that wire through there, it pulled the neck pickup wire through there, too. Holy shit. I won't hold you through this. I'm going to stop the camera. Take this pickup off again, get the wire out of there, and, uh, wow, maybe I'll take this one off and just reroute it from the word go, that's what I'll do, hold on. Well, I'm not going to be able to show you this for crap. <laughs> What's new, right? Because i got to hold this, i got to hold the thing like so, until I get a nut on it. There's really no way I can show you this. I'm just going to get the nut started right now. Another washer. And another nut. That one right here to do. I have to hold the washer on there. I'll put the nut on. Until I can get a hold of the nut. Very awkward. Very awkward position to work in. I hope it never happens to you. <laughs> Any of you guys. I don't know. It's going along pretty good. I probably won't uh, wire this thing up tonight. As far as the soldering goes. I don't know. I might. What a position to have to work in. One more. I've seen an extra washer and an extra nut there. Nut. Not sure what that's about. Whoa, come on, baby. You fail me now. That is not wanting to go on here. There's enough thread sticking through, it should. Maybe that's why they sent another nut. I don't know if I can reach it. Wow, what a position to have to work in, man. Yeah, that wasn't the right nut for it. All right. You know, I should have just left those pickups out when I had them out. Should have left them out, man. <coughs> and I'll show you why. I've got to route this wire to the switch. See them? I've got to route that wire down through this channel, and I know with this plug on here, the uh, pickup wires are going to get in the way. Well, maybe I can go ahead and start it. If you don't know if you can see or not, I'm going to see if it'll even start down in there. And it did, but it ain't going to go very far. It's going to go to that first pickup, and it did right there. It just stopped. So now. That pickup's got to come out again, yet again. Get you in the center up there a little bit more. And you'll probably hear the AC kicking in and out as we go along. Uh, oh man, I just had this out like 10 minutes ago. Oh well, what are you going to do? Who are you going to call? Should have just left it out. So I should have. 
probably going to have to take the other one out too. I imagine with these two pickup wires going down through that channel. Yeah, there it is. Completely missed the hole. I don't want to pull the pickup wire out, but I do want to get a switch wire in there deeper. Deep still go. I know what's going to do, so we'll go into that other cavity, this one. Just like it did just now. And stop. So, I'm not going to hold you up for this. What i got to do now, put the screws back in this pickup, take this one out, because there's another channel that runs from this pickup cavity down to the uh, cavity of the pots here. And I know it's caught in there. It's not going to go past that, so i got to take it out too after I uh, put this one back in. I won't hold you up for that. I will bring you back once it is complete. <laughs> hold on. Alrighty then, we're getting some wires in there now, so it look like a spider web, okay? This plug was the one I just ran through, that's from the switch. I went ahead and set the switch in the hole, routed this wire down here. That's the one from the switch, it's got the plug into this wire, this plug, which goes to the switch and to the uh, jack back here, which I still got to put that in. I mean, put a nut on it back here. And then all we got to do is solder that to this first lug. You can't see it, and I don't have enough cord to show you. And uh, that's the bridge. We got to take this one, solder a ground on the back of the pot, and uh, the pickup wire to the first lug here, which you can't see, and I don't have enough cord to show you. It's that lug right there. Maybe you can see it. And the same thing on this part. I don't know if I'm going to do that tonight or not. But uh, we'll see how far we get. Still got to put some a uh, little bit of hardware left here yet. So let's do it! This is a handy little tool right here. Check that out, man. That's to tighten this jack up in the back of this guitar without... You know, a lot of people stick a wrench on there and they turn that and the jack inside here turns and they tear their wires off, rip the wires off of it. Uh, you stick this, the way this works, stick this into the jack and then you start screwing this piece against this piece of rubber and as you screw that piece of rubber smash squashes it and it gets bigger around and holds the jack from spinning inside. And this is a very tight fit this thing works like a charm, man. You know who sent it to me. Thank you for it. I've actually got two of these now. It came with this wrench. Ah, oh, where's the camera? came with that wrench. So all i got to do now is hold that. And there we go. It's tight. And release this. And it's a complete job, you see. Done deal. It's a done deal. Completed. <laughs> All right, now, let me get you back in the camera here. All I got to do right here, right now, is hook these two plugs together that I showed you. There they are, they're hooked together. That's uh, really not a bad solder job on these. Whoever did that, actually, it's pretty good. I still got to tighten those parts up on the other side. So, uh, let me get you zoomed out here a little bit. Get this bad boy turned over. Already ran the switch. Already ran the switch through. All I gotta do is get under here and hold it. Wow, there ain't very many threads on that. Very few threads on that. Hopefully it'll be enough. There's a washer there. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna see if this fits. And it does. I don't think I'm going to be able to put this washer on there though and have enough thread left. Yeah, it is, just barely. Now, 
I got a wrench for that too, but I got to go get it. It's just for that right there. Just for that and nothing else. But I got to go get it. Naturally, I wouldn't have it here. <laughs> so hold on, I'm going to go get the wrench. And here is the special tool for that. That's what it looks like. As you, uh, you put this down over that ring, and then as you tighten this up, I don't know if you can see the end of it or not. It, it squeezes that over the ring. You still got to hold the switch underneath here and keep the switch from turning. See, so you just slide that puppy on there like that. You can loosen it, open it up some more. There we go. slipped off but it turned it before it slipped off. Let me check it and make absolutely sure that it did go. Yeah. It's tight. It keeps slipping off for some reason. But it's tight. And we're in business. And I got the uh, out of that kit, I've got one nut left over. <laughs> Imagine that. Alright, hold on. Let me gather my thoughts. It's a very small collection. It won't take long. See, I have a lot better switch than the one that came with that kit. This is Switchcraft. But, I mean, it was already wired up. It had that plug on there. Now, you guys, older subscribers, might remember these knobs. That's what I'm going to go with on this guitar and hope that they fit that shaft without having to smash the shaft or do anything stupid like that. I've got that set to zero. Oh, check that out, man. Fits like a glove. We're going to have skull, the skull heads. <laughs> I started to put this on the, that black Les Paul. Here's why I'll give you a close-up shot of what they look like. Uh, I think that's in focus, yeah. They look pretty nice, really. Try to get them lined up evenly here. So the player has a good view of the things. Boy, those parts feel good. I'm not going to solder those pickups in tonight. All I got to do is solder four connections. But I have to heat the soldering iron up. I got a soldering station. I have to wait on that to heat up and all that jazz. So, I don't know if I'll even show that video at all or not. That popped on pretty tight. These things are so easy to break, man, if you try to force them. If you have a little bit of adjustment here on the shaft, you know, you can squeeze it together or stick a screwdriver in there and pry it apart if they don't fit. I got pretty lucky here with these. They seem to be fitting pretty dang nice. Let me get it where I want before I... That's it. All right. There she is. Yeah, boy. Four solder joints, and this thing should be alive. Watch feel good. Alrighty. If the kit was good. <laughs> Les Paul Standard. Les Paul model. Ah, uh, that's what the knobs look like. That's all the cord I got. Maybe I can zoom in and show you. They're pretty cool cool looking knobs. Yeah, I started to put them on that black guitar, but in fact, I'll let you guys choose whether to use those knobs there or just black ones like those, but without the skull and the 13 on them. They've got 13 on them. My son's got that tattooed in the back of his neck. No kidding. <laughs> he did. Anyways, that's what it looks like. Let me turn him over here. If I can do it with one hand, these guitars are heavy. 
and uh, you can get a shot down in there of that Chinese wiring job. I didn't do it, I just hooked it up. <laughs> All I have to do, see, is solder. Let's see, this is a neck pickup. It's going to go to this top pot. Two wires, ground and hot. And the blue, the blue one here is the bridge pickup. There's two wires there. Go to this pot down here on the first lug of each pot and then to ground on the back of the pots. They've already got soldered uh, on the back of the pot, so it's going to be an easy job. I would go ahead and do it tonight, but I don't know how long this video is getting to be. You lose track of time pretty easy. And there's what the switch looks like. Cable routed and plugged in. Lord, it looks like a mess in there. I'll uh, zip tie that all up like I did the black one once I get it done. Make it look real neat and nice, even though it is a Chinese-like type wiring job with this plug on it. I don't know, some real Les Pauls, I think, have something like that in them now, don't they? I uh, can't remember. Maybe you guys can refresh my memory on that. Hold on. So there you go, folks. I'll show it to you under that light over there. Well, that don't look any different, but this will look a little bit different with the, the knobs on it. I hold the guitar up where I can't see the camera, so I guess you're seeing them. And there's the uh, horrible mess on the back of it. But like I say, all I got to do is just uh, solder the pickups in, man. That's it. We'll be ready to test this thing out and string it up then. See what it, see how it's going to sound. I think it'll sound pretty good with those pickups. I'll make polish the frets before I do that. They're not worn any at all, man. They feel good. That other Chibson, the black one, I did the frets on them and I've played that guitar quite a lot and the, no fret wire yet. So it's obvious, evidently, a good fret wire on it. I've heard complaints about the fret wire. These are jumbo frets. I never noticed that until right now. Uh, I don't know if this is going to hold up like it did or not, but we'll find out over time. And uh, I guess I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks to the new subscribers, the old ones for keeping it here, the patrons. All you guys, everyone, rock, man. Check out some old videos if you're new here. There is a ton of information in all those videos. Uh, repairs and just uh, all kind of comedy and everything you think of. So check them out. It's good. Good, like the Lord said in that movie. Uh, what's that guy's name that played, played God? I can't think, man. Anyways, he said, it's good. <laughs> and it was good. Cheers. And peace and goodwill and tranquility to you.